All right, guys, so I've finished my walls, my ice walls. This is the part two of making Hoth terrain. Um, basically, I made two big ones, and I'm now working on the tunnel to go in between. Um, so this is kind of how they look when they're put together. Uh, and when we kind of set them up, they're gonna, let me put this up a little bit, they're gonna kind of look like that, okay? Now I still have to paint them and do some other stuff. Uh, but what I'm working on right now is I'm just using some uh, I already showed you the tunnel I have. I'm actually painting that right now, and I just put, um, using regular craft paint, and basically just painting this thing over. I'm not gonna, you know, paint the whole thing right in front of you, but it, you know, this material is pretty good for regular craft paint. Don't use spray paint. As some of the commenters pointed out, it will uh, eat right through the, uh, the spray paint. So the next step is I'm actually going to start painting the ice walls as well because I've got this guy painted up. I'm going to let him dry and then do the inside. And while that's happening, I'm doing, going to do the ice walls. And now what I'm doing here is just some, because I got so much area, I'm just using white paint and I've added a lot of water to it. Um, and I'm going to kind of put it on pretty thin so it also sinks into the cracks. And hopefully... See, I've got I've got this in a thing and I'm just stirring it. So it's really it's 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 almost like milk, you know. And you can see, and it kind of goes on like so. And I'm gonna just apply this um, liberally to the whole thing. Now this is gonna take a long time to dry. I'm not gonna do the whole thing on here on film, uh, but it does splash up. So make sure you're not wearing anything black. I say that as I'm actually wearing a black shirt. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, so it goes in pretty good. It goes in pretty good. And we'll see how it looks when it's done. All right, so basically I've got it all painted white. It's dried now and well, it's, I think it's mostly dry. There might be a slightly wet spot somewhere in the cracks, but best I can tell, you know, it's dry and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, next step is I'm gonna do a couple of coats because I want this to look really good. And actually it looks kind of good right now because this was a blue foam and I did a lighter white. You can see like a little bit of blue showing through, but like I would do with any model, I wanna wash in the crevices and then dry brush over the top. And since this is kind of monotone, um, it'll be pretty easy to, to, to do that. So what I've done is I've taken some uh, water and some blue, and this is about like 75% water, 25% paint, um, maybe even more water than that. It's just, it's really, really watery. And, uh, and basically I'm gonna, Kind of put it in there, I see it like it drips down, right? That's how watery it is, right? And so I'm gonna do this whole thing like that. And the idea is um, I want this going down in all the cracks and it'll probably dry a little bit lighter than this, but I want it to go down in all the cracks uh, and, and really bring out the depth of the glacier type wall that I'm doing. Um, and th my, my, basically my end goal is that once this is dry, I'll come back with some more white and I'll go ahead and like do a dry brush over the top layer to make the ice on the top white and give a lot of depth of color, um, of the, uh, of this thing. I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that I've got too, but, um, it's like a whole, a whole bunch of different things. I, uh, I got this, uh, this basically this lake kind of tube of the sticky kind of gooey liquid. And it's pretty cool because it like, it dries into a solid plasticky um, surface, but it looks like, you know, water. So it's good, it would be good if I was doing like a waterfall or a lake or a lake of ice. And so if I do, uh, you know, this has even got me tempted to try and try and do some caves or whatever. So I might may try to do something like that at one point. Um, there's a whole lot of whole lot of ideas. Um, I just recently did a video about the scale of the game, and one of the things I kind of screwed up is I bought a, uh, a tie interceptor, and I was going to do that. Um, kind of, I was going to do the tie interceptor as like a crash, like and break up the model a little bit and have a downed tie interceptor, but it was just too small, and probably wouldn't look right. But I might still mess with it. For the sake of uh, 
playing around, like, just to, to test, you know, because the thing is, even a smaller model was still, like, 30 bucks, and so I, I need a model that's a little bit larger, and I'll, I think even a larger model is going to probably be somewhere probably, well, definitely more than 30, I don't even know, I haven't even looked it up yet, but, uh, yeah, so it might be a good idea to do a test run with, kind of, I'll take a heat gun to it, bend the wings a little bit, do all that kind of stuff, and, yeah, so, you know, I'm going to keep going with this, and, um, We'll take a look at it after I'm done and what it looks like when it's uh, drying. All right, here's the finished uh, wall we'll finish. It's I just painted it. It's still wet. Um, I, I like I like the, the the depth of color, or I like how it kind of sunk into the depths here. But if you're gonna do something like this with a really wet, um, <laughs> like, like look at this, it's the water does kind of drip down. Uh, and make sure you're using a mat because I'm actually in the dining room here. And my wife would kill me if all this paint was just on the table. So I think I did a good job. Mostly uh, got all of it on the mat. But I have a blue towel just in case. An old blue towel. It's a ratty blue towel just because I did spill a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to let this dry. And then I'm going to come back and attempt the dry brush. And I think I'll be close to a stopping point after that. All right, so I let it dry overnight. And now I've got it out in the garage here because it was really, really wet. I set it out in the garage so it could dry overnight. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking a really dry um, white, a dry brush of white. I have just a little bit of paint on my brush. It's not, there's no water at all in here. It's just straight paint. And I'm gonna go over the top coat here. And what I'm doing, I'm just hitting all the raised areas, so. As you can see now, it's going to be. It's going to look a little less blue. I may have to do it a little more wet than that. I probably don't have to go super, super dry. So I'm going to put it on a little bit red, a little more wet here. And this is just straight paint. And I could probably put some different colors in here too. Like if I wanted to, if I was going with more of a like a ilum, if I was doing like crystals or whatever, I could probably add some purples. Or even some yellow in there, depending if I was doing like a different kind of, uh, you know, a different planet or whatever. But that is the surface I'm going for here. Is it's funny I'm getting little bits flake off. So this isn't the, you know, it's, it's still a, a delicate material. So this isn't something that you'll want to, um, you know, you want you don't want to be rough with this. But, you know, it's going on pretty good. It's about what I expected. Still going to be a lot of blue, but I may have to do a second coat. But basically, it's going to be a lot of white also. All right, so we're all done with the dry brushing. I may end up coming back and putting a second coating on, depending on if I feel like it. But I think this is a good stopping point. Um, yeah, and it's, so far, the piece is looking pretty, pretty good. I, I'm going to add more. So I'm not done yet with, like, Hoth Terrain, because I'm definitely going to add more to it than just this. Uh, I've got some debris I'm going to work on for a crashed uh, interceptor and I'm also going to be working on an ion cannon. So I've got more pieces. I might also do a cave or like a wamba habitat or something like that. So there it is though. That's the uh, partially finished piece. Let me know what you think guys. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and click the bell for alerts so you can get more stuff. And I've also got some co uh, contests that's going on right now, and all the thing you have to do to win is uh, subscribe and leave a comment. So make sure you're entered to win those. Uh, and let me know if you are making your own scenery. Uh, love to see some, some more of what everybody else is putting out there. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.